डॉक्टर विवेक बिराजा कंसल्टेंट नेफ्रोलॉजिस्ट एंड ट्रांसप्लांट फिजिशियन आई एम हियर टू शेयर इनसाइट ऑन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज किडनी फेलियर सो जनरली किडनीज हैव मल्टीपल रोल्स इन द बॉडी टू फंक्शन लाइक रिमूवल ऑफ वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम द बॉडी रिमूवल ऑफ एक्सेस फ्लूड फ्रॉम द बॉडी एंड मेंटेन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एंड मिनरल बैलेंस मेंटेन ब्लड प्रेशर्स प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द आरबीसीज एंड control uh, maintain the bone health of the body so kidney failure is uh, whenever the kidneys lose their ability to function effectively it is called as a kidney failure so kidney failure will be of two types that is acute and chronic kidney disease whenever the damage of kidney uh, is more than 3 months then we we call it as a chronic kidney failure the causes will be like for acute kidney failure it may be generally because of the infection dehydration or there is a medications and traumatic uh, injuries to the kidneys and in chronic kidney failure the main it is because of the diabetes and blood pressure or sometimes it can be because of the glomerular diseases or genetic diseases can cause kidney failure what are symptoms of kidney failure so generally patients will not have any symptoms because of the kidney injury but whenever there are symptoms uh, then there will be decrease in the appetite nausea vomiting Uh, decrease urination or burning in the urine or uh, there will be a redness in the urine uh, swelling of the legs and puffiness of the face and sometimes shortness of breath will be present with the kidney failure so who should get the kidney checkup done so generally patients having the symptoms of kidney failure patients with diabetes uh, patients with difficult to control blood pressure patients with a family history of diabetes blood pressure or kidney disease or if the patient is taking long term pain killers they should undergo kidney checkup so why we should go for a kidney checkup early because if you diagnose the kidney problem early so either we can reverse the disease or prevent the progression of the disease or if there is a disease is in the advanced stage we can prevent the complications of kidney problem so what are the treatment options for the kidney problem if the patient is having acute kidney injury like because of the infection or certain medication or dehydration we have to treat the problem so that we can reverse the kidney disease if uh, there is a chronic kidney disease in chronic kidney disease we generally divide the problem into five stages the stage 1 to 3 is there so we start the treatment with the lifestyle modification regular exercise diet modification like salt restriction and medications there in medication the most important is the control of the blood sugar and blood pressure and along with that we have to start some medications to prevent the further progression of the kidney disease and we have to stop the medications which will cause the problem to the kidneys so that this will be in the chronic so if the patient having advanced kidney failure so in that case the patients will require either dialysis or renal transplantation The complications of uh, kidney failure will be a fluid overload, in which uh, there will be an extra amount of fluid in the body. So swelling of the legs will be there and shortness of breath. Other complications uh, like uh, anemia will be there. So we have to give some injections to increase the hemoglobin. Bone mineral disease will be there. So we have to accordingly treat calcium and other conditions. And uh, there will be a uh, risk for the heart disease because of the kidney disease. So we have to. Uh, diagnose screen and treat the heart disease cells in conclusion understanding kidney health is important for overall well being thank you for your attention let's continue working towards a healthier future